I came up here by Colbert Campground. Colbert Campground is, I'd say, about a thousand feet north on Highway 39, just up around this corner to the west. If you look down there, it looks like the rain's gonna start any time. I'm up here above it. I'm up here, here's um, Smith Mountain. Last time I went up here, the trail was washed out and you couldn't get past it. Now I'm gonna try to get to this Bear Creek, the upper creek. Now if I take this and go all the way back down, hit the creek, if I'm able to, and go all the way back down to uh, West Fork. It's 10.2 miles. I was gonna start down there, but they're building a footbridge now. So you don't have to walk all the way around the turnstiles. And there's bulldozers down there and they're digging up and they're making a lot of noise. So there'll be zero wildlife in that area. So I'm gonna attempt to get it from the top. The chance of seeing some uh, deer or a bear or uh, some bighorn sheep. To give you an idea of the grade coming up, See those cars there? I'm on the other side. The white van. I am, let's see, I am 12 minutes in right now. 12 minutes in, and look at the uh, elevation gain. What gives me a little hope is um, two factors that the slide is fixed. One, about three years ago, myself and my two brothers, we came up here right before the saddle, there's a huge slide, something like this, just gone, all the way up into here. So it didn't look like there was any way to fix it. But the forestry, they're good at their job, they're good at what they do. They had somebody come in, put up one of these walls, and cut further back, and repair the trail to where you can't even see where it, the slide occurred. Now, there's a massive slide, um, just like the one where I was trying to get the Allison mine, the whole hill's taken out. The massive slide up here like that. But the last time I was back there in Bear Creek and I saw the possible Sasquatch sighting that turned out to be the naked hiker, <laughs> he told me he made it to the saddle. Now, if it's the truth or not, I'll soon find out in a couple hours. And if so, we'll be going all the way down. And we'll be going north on the river to places where very few people have probably ever been. So that's what I'm hoping for. But look at the altitude gain here. There's a road down there, you can't even see where we parked. Here we go, look at this. San Gabriel Wilderness, Angeles National Forest. Okay, right down around two or three of these turns, the entire side of the mountain was gone three years ago. I have not attempted this since, but the local Naked hiking man said he made it up here with his naked ass. He made it. <laughs> anyway, he said he hiked all the way from the West Fork up here, up there, and down all naked. <laughs> so, um, perhaps it's what fixed. does we'll not see. look promising is I don't see any of the holes from trekking poles. I'm going down, this is pretty steep, so anybody coming up would have probably had to use their trekking poles. I don't see any footprints. I don't see any trekking pole um, divots. Well, I've been, I've gotten past the slide. I don't know where it was. They fixed it so well. But um, I've never been down this far on this trail. Might make it after all. There's something walking around up there. Being up here, you can see where the road, the river forks off. You can see where it forks off and goes way back over there. It forks off and goes to a spring there. It forks off, goes to a spring there, and then it shoots way back and climbs the hill, and, cr and it turns around and goes towards Crystal Lake. There's a lot of areas back here that have still to this day probably not been explored. 
but these thorns, <laughs> look at these thorns. It's just, it's closing in here. I don't know how much further I'll be able to go. This looks like Blair Witch territory. I'm nearly to the canyon floor. About two thirds of the way, I'd say. Check it out. That's Smith Peak. Right there in the center of the screen, that's the saddle I came over. I'm down, I'd say three miles so far. Okay, a deer. A deer has come through here. Doesn't look like too recently, but deer are using the trail. Might get one on camera. I've seen one and heard what I think is probably a couple others. For me, this is sort of, ooh, uh, like a special moment. This is one of the last hikes in the San Gabriel's book that I had not completed from the midway east. I still have a few in the west side. But this is one of the remaining ones I had not explored, I had not seen. And I'm there. I'm gonna follow it down river for a while. This is my first look at this area, other than a few pictures that uh, John W. Robinson took way back, 72, 73. The water's not moving very well here. It's deep though, so you got the deep working for you. Low current, no oxygen working against you. No, usually when I get back here to the rivers, I'll see trout. I, I don't see any. Look at this. This totally makes you wonder, what is it? And how do you get down here? And this tree is totally grown right on top of it, so it's been here a long time. Oh, look at that pool. Some of this place looks like it's about five, six feet deep. Pretty big. So, low water or not, I'm going to go down there and toss the Panther Martin up here. See if I can pull something out. Okay, I brought a uh, telescopic pole, and look at this. You've got a stick float, bolts and stick float, a ball float, three split shots, three hooks, three spinners, and a jig. Mini tackle box. I'm going to put on that Panther Martin there with the fluorescent blade. Give that a shot. Not a single hit. Nothing even chased it. This part of the river might be just um, uninhabited by trout. I'll go around the corner and see. If, I don't think this is the. This can. This is not Bear Creek. This contributes into Bear Creek. Bear Creek are down around the corner. I'm gonna go a little bit further, but then I'm gonna head back. Get out of here before dark. It's a great hike. But like I say, I had a special setup for rain. Doesn't look like there's gonna be any rain. So I'll save that video for another day. Check it out. Back on a trail. This is not the trail out, this is the trail in. I don't know how far it goes. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, look at that. Somebody's been by here.
right on. So when you get down from all those switchbacks from the saddle, you must cross the river and then pick up the trail on the other side. <laughs> Somehow I get up there. Oh, from down there, you can't see this trail. It just looks like a mountain. You can't see it. And I couldn't find the trail that led back to this. So I seen this slide. I came up this. Oh man, I'm beaten. <laughs> and then I get, I get up here and look, and it's right there. I just didn't go far enough. Whew. I'll make it. Okay, I just had a look at the map. You see that hill? Mountain? Not that ridge, but where that ridge comes down. And this other ridge here, where it comes down. So the gully there slides in between there. Alongside that big one, that's Bear Creek. So I had at least another mile to a mile and a half until this one empties out into bear. That's my goal. Over that saddle, and three miles down the other side. Some kind of fungus, it's like a rainbow. Maybe they were right. Rain might be moving in. Oh. Wait till you see where I am though. You won't believe it. I, I don't believe it. Right around this corner, I think there's something pretty cool to look at. I'll turn the camera back on. I got a glimpse of it. Hopefully okay, it's still ready. there. Ready? Here it is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back at the top. There we are. I made it. Uh, you know what that means? Look at this. That means I'm back on the saddle again. <laughs> There's Smith Mountain. Uh, let me show you. Okay, this. first of all, I'm parked way down at that road. So, it's three miles up that. And now, look at this. I went all the way down, all the way down, around that corner. See that peak right there, center of the screen? Where that comes down, hits, that's where the river is. That seems impossible that I did this in the time I did. I can't believe I did it, but I did. Uh. And I have three miles all downhill. Look at this. Pick these up along the way. Somebody just left them there. That's my bear bell. <laughs> this is cool. 
So I've done everything from the 605 East all the way to Silverwood. Every trail from the 605 East to Silverwood. And then also some over in Gorgonia. Way over there. Okay. It's 2.20. See what time it is when I get to the bottom. That's the saddle there in the center. It looks like it's a short distance, but I mean it goes way back in the canyon, then comes out and goes way back in the canyon. Here's an example. This one, way back there. That's like the shoreline on uh, Catalina when you're walking to Parsons Landing. You want to get from here to there. You got to walk way back in the island. <laughs> you follow that shoreline. It's uh, 3.6 miles as the crow flies, or it's 7.8 along the shore from Two Harbors to Parsons. That's a great place to backpack to. Awesome beach to camp on. Look at that, I predicted 3.30. 3.30. So an hour and eight minutes to get from the saddle to here. But I did stop and film a little here and there. So it's averaging about three miles an hour. It's pretty good for after all I did. And I'm headed home.